Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we have a lot to discuss because currently Bitcoin is forming this rising wedge and we are expecting a potential breakout here to the downside. Actually right now it looks like that we are starting to lose the support here at around $23,500. But nothing is confirmed until we're gonna have a four hour close at least here below this $23,500. So let's see what will happen in the next couple of hours. But in this episode we're gonna analyze here the potential targets here to the downside and of course also to the upside and next to that we're also going to have a look into the bitcoin dominance and also into the cme chart so before we start just a little side note currently the stock markets in europe are in red so we have today a red day in the stock market at least here in europe also here in the altcoins we're seeing everything in the red and it looks like that also the us is going to start in red this morning because the futures currently are dropping so let's see what will happen here as soon as the US market is going to open if we have a look here into the DXY you can see that currently we are seeing a bounce from the DXY after we got here this uh, buy signal and of course here also the target is to reach uh, this 91 dollar area potentially even go higher towards this 9170 where the 200 moving average is lining up here in the four hour time frame so let's see if the dxy here is able to get a bounce here to the upside above 91 dollars or if we are getting rejected over there because if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently the 20 daily moving average is right here at our resistance of 91 dollar only if we are really able to push higher than 91 dollar and also close daily candles above i think we could be heading towards here the 100 or 200 daily moving average so between 95 to 92 dollars and that of course would lead into a big correction in the bitcoin price and also overall in the stock market so that could be maybe this week or maybe next week that we're gonna see such a bigger correction that we were waiting now for a very long time so let's see if this is going to play out this week or next next week it is very likely that sooner or later we're gonna have this correction so let's now see where could be the targets at least here for bitcoin because here in the four hour right now we are forming uh, this uh, rising wedge which is a bearish pattern also we are forming a bearish divergence we have lower highs in the rsi and higher highs in the price so that is usually always a sign of weakness and we could see here potential fall at least towards this 20k area because as soon as we're going to lose again this $22,700 in my opinion we will start this major correction and the first target to be reached is here this 20 I don't think that this $22,700 will be a very strong support so let's see what will happen once we're gonna test this area it is very likely that we're going to test here this $22,700 also because if we go over into the CME chart you can see that currently we have a CME gap a new one from this weekend right here $23,000 and of course we have still several ones below of us like this one over here at 18,000 and also this one here at 17,000 dollar so if we're gonna start a major correction and also go below 20k I think it is very likely that we're gonna feel those uh, gaps and uh, we can have a quick look also into the Bollinger Bands because here in the four hour we are still squeezing in this tiny channel and pretty soon we are gonna have here a breakout in my opinion and uh, right now you can see that we are just bouncing from the middle lines on a, so as soon as this one is getting lost the next target would be down here at this uh, $22,500 like I told you most likely here we are getting some support but if this one will not hold be prepared to see immediately a 20k test and then we're gonna see if 20k is gonna be a valid new support or if we are going lower than that because here in the four hour all this suggests for a correction because of these uh, KSTM MACD indicators they are all shifted to the downside only stochastic is already in oversold condition so in theory we should see a bounce from it right now otherwise here of course we can stay for a very long time in oversold condition 
and if we go over into the daily time frame you can see that currently we are still far away from all the moving averages so even if Bitcoin would correct in the worst case down here towards the 200 daily moving average at $12,600 we will still remain on our bullish way to the upside and everything will still look very bullish for the long term for Bitcoin so be aware that the price could even drop like 50% and still look bullish so even if a bigger correction will come Bitcoin is still looking very bullish and we are still in a bull market as long as we are maintaining the price above the 200 daily moving average so if we're gonna see such a potential bigger drop I don't think we will go that low but if we're gonna start to correct this week or next week make sure to try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible because other people will do it so make sure that everyone that is watching this channel here are accumulating as much Bitcoin as possible all right my friends so you see here that also the RSI my own indicator are very overbought and it looks like that also here we could go at least towards the nine daily moving average which usually is acting as a very strong support right here at $21,790 so also here around this $22,000 area if this one is getting lost then the next step would be down here at the 20 daily moving average right at 20k where we should expect huge support if 20k is again failing then be prepared to see the price go again at least towards 18 to 17 thousand dollar and therefore we have to go over into the weekly time frame because here as you can see the 9 and 20 weekly moving average rised up a bit so you can see here the nine weekly moving average is exactly touching our previous support here at $18,600 so it is very likely that we will come down here to test this region down here before maybe we continue to the upside and if this $18,600 will not hold then be prepared the price to drop down towards this 20 weekly moving average which currently is at $14,700 I think here at this $15,000 area so at this green trend line here we should have enough support because this acted as a very strong resistance here and right now it should be acting as a very strong support so I think if we're gonna see such a drop below the nine weekly moving average $15,000 should hold the price maybe we're gonna just see a short lift week towards the 20 weekly moving average but I don't think that we will go way below this moving average and even if so it's gonna be really short lift so in my opinion, if the price is coming down here towards 18 to 15 thousand dollar, try to accumulate as much as possible. And if the price is really dropping even below the 20 weekly moving average, then maybe try to get even more Bitcoin with some fresh fiat. Because if we're getting really that low, this might be really the last opportunity to buy really cheap Bitcoin. And since we are still very exhausted here, also in my own indicator, you can see that. And also in the RSI, we are almost at the 9 level so we are extremely overbought and that's why I think a massive correction could be in the cards my friends and that's why I try to accumulate as much as possible don't go and panic sell only if you don't have some fiat on the sideline then maybe right now take some profits and rebuy back in once we're gonna see this correction but Bitcoin of course is still looking very bullish so we should expect higher highs at any time soon although this week it is possible that first we're going towards 30k before we having this correction but the correction will come sooner or later that's for sure so also if you are DCAing a bit out of Bitcoin if you're taking a little bit of profits I'm only talking about your trading portfolio and not your hodl portfolio then take it by side don't FOMO in if the price is going towards 30k just wait for the next correction doesn't matter where the price will be but the correction will come for sure so if it's gonna be this week or next week these are the targets for now here between 18,500 down to 14,800 dollar these at least are my targets and where I'm trying to buy as much as possible I also have some buy order set and also some long positions over on Bybit and if you also want to take as much gains as possible when we pump and when we dump then make sure that you have an account ready over on Bybit and Femex because when we have these big moves you can do here really nice trades so you can go long you can go short even with the small amount of money you can do very nice gains and if you still need an account over here make sure to use my links down below here in the video description because with my links you will get some extra money some extra bonus that you can do some free trades with it and if you also want to take advantage of these uh, leverage gains but you don't want to trade at your own then make sure to use PrimeXPT because here you can follow other successful 
Digital Traders. You can just open up an account over on Prime XPT with my link down below here. Then top up some Bitcoin here on the exchange and then just click here on follow the trader that you want to follow. And as you can see, some of them have uh, very nice gains. So even with a small amount of uh, Bitcoin here, you can really multiply it very easily if, of course, uh, you catch the lucky ones because not all of them are very successful. But if you sort them by maximum gains over here, you can see at least the best ones so far. And now let's have a look quickly here into the Bitcoin. Bitcoin dominance and let's go over into the daily time frame because as you can see right now Bitcoin is trying to push higher than 67% so we are touching here this main resistance and if Bitcoin is able to push higher than 67% and also close daily candles above 67% in dominance I think here we can see a lot of money from altcoins coming back into Bitcoin and that of course would lead into a big bloodbath in the altcoin space so let's keep an eye here on the bitcoin dominance what will happen here in the next couple of hours and days also here we are looking quite exhausted very overbought the rsi and also my own indicator we are looking very exhausted so i think here we should face some resistance and we could see here a big drop towards 60 percent again and that of course would be good for the altcoins but right now it looks like that bitcoin is trying to push higher than that so it is possible that if we're going to see a massive correction in coming a lot of altcoins will go back in usdt or maybe also in bitcoin so we will see then the bitcoin dominance rise up here because when the markets are dropping usually people escape from altcoins and that's why we also have to keep an eye here on the bitcoin dominance so everything is looking like that we are gonna see this long awaited correction anytime soon my friends uh, even though bitcoin of course is still looking very bullish and we will go way way higher in the future so if there will be blood on the streets make sure to try to buy as much as possible because by now for sure you should have taken some profits out somewhere you should sit with some nice gains on the sideline and if you have it in cash on the sideline make sure that you're ready to buy back in into bitcoin as soon as this potential correction is going to happen if i'm sitting here on the pc and something happens i will go live over on twitch or i will update you over on discord so make sure to follow me also in my other channels that you can find also down below here in the video description and if you're completely new in the crypto space make sure that you open up right now an account with my referral links down below here over on swissborg binance and coinbase because with my links you will get some extra money some extra bonus and also you can claim some free altcoins like this ones over here over on coinbase so take this advantage as long as these promotions are running so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you want you can also leave me any kind of comment that you want let me know what you think that will come next 30k or 20k let me know so have a nice day congratulations again to every bitcoin hodler and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye